A major US cruise line came out to announce that they are indeed now dropping all of their pandemic related protocols. Plus, Norwegian Cruise Line and the state of Florida locked in a heated battle for the past several months over the pandemic. There's finally a solution there. And world cruisers expecting to jump on one ship were told in the 11th hour that no, you're gonna be on another ship. Let's roll the intro. Hey, hey, welcome to the Midships Channel. I'm your Captain Corey, and thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. As you can see, I am once again still up here in Columbus, Ohio. It's chilly up here, man. I don't know how you northerners do it, but that's the case, I suppose. Now there's tons of cruise news to get into, but before we do, just wanna remind all my group cruisers, we have four days left until we set sail on the Carnival Sunshine out of Charleston. Make sure you go into the Facebook group, check out all the updated itinerary and plans. And one more thing, if you're a group cruiser, there's gonna be a special announcement made to all of you first before everyone else here on the channel hears it. And if you don't wanna miss the special announcement, make sure you subscribe. We're gonna be letting you know something really cool in the next week or so. Now let's get into today's cruise news with our top story. Princess Cruise Lines here in the US has announced that they are dropping all of their pandemic related procedures and policies and protocols. Whatever P you wanna use, that's what they're dropping. Now this is going to start this Friday, it goes into effect really soon, and it's gonna affect every single cruise, save for where there are still restrictions in place, like New Zealand and Australia. But otherwise, if you're on a Princess cruise starting this Friday, just go on it like you do everything else in life. Princess has returned to full normality. Normality. Normality, that's the one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Should the rest of the cruise industry try and catch up here with Princess and do the same? The other takeaway here is that Princess is part of the Carnival group, which means keep your eyes open for Carnival Cruise Line to be dropping an announcement very similarly to Princess probably in the next week or two, if I just had to spitball there, it's probably coming to a cruise near you. And speaking of things coming to a cruise near you, if you shop in my Amazon influencer store, all of the items in there could be coming to a cruise near you as well. It's the best way to support this channel and my work while getting something amazing that has been tested by myself personally for your next cruise. Check it out, there's a link in the description below. Well, there's a new ship sailing in and out of Port Canaveral this month as MSC has brought back the Miravilia to home port here in Port Canaveral for the next several months. Now, if you're not familiar with Miravilia, she is a namesake class ship. So she's the first one in the whole class of Miravilia class ships. It's a beautiful ship, has a huge, interior promenade shopping area with a giant LED dome ceiling. Wonderful, fantastic ship. I can't recommend trying out an MSC cruise enough. The service, the amenities, the private island, and the best part is whether you're a budget cruiser, whether you're an average cruiser, or whether you're a high-end cruiser, an MSC cruise ship offers something for all of you from their bare fare all the way up to their yacht club there's something for everyone on board an MSC cruise. You should check them out, and that's not sponsored, but MSC, I've shouted you guys out enough that maybe it should be. Our next cruise news story takes us down under, where we're gonna talk about a high-profile court case involving a nurse who cruised on a princess cruise at the outset of the pandemic, and well, guess what happened? Caught COVID, and this nurse is suing because the cruise line should have known better. Despite the fact that this nurse is a medical professional, has a doctor in the family, and should have known that COVID was prevalent and spreads in contained confined areas. Now, one little bit of information that probably sides in the cruise line's favor is that this cruise passenger is on record as saying, and I'm gonna read the quote so I don't misspeak. She said it was probably very stupid of her to believe that the vessel was free of the virus. Yeah, it probably was, and I don't think that the courts should take any mercy on somebody suing just to try to get a buck because they didn't like what happened to them when they got COVID. Well, longtime viewers of the channel here might remember that not too long ago, Norwegian Cruise Lines got into a big fight with the state of Florida over vaccine passports. It was a law that went in place that allowed Florida to charge $5,000 per infraction if a business asked to see your vaccine status. 
Norwegian didn't really like that, went ahead and did it anyways. Now, the court case that ensued, well, we finally have a decision. And what do you think it is? I'm gonna let you know as soon as I remind you that no, I'm just kidding. The decision is that the court sides with the state of Florida. Norwegian Cruise Line was not allowed to ask their passengers their vaccine status, but it doesn't matter anymore because Norwegian is out of the game of asking your status. In fact, they're one of the cruise lines that's actually dropped all their protocols. So there you have it, an outcome in that case. And our next cruise news story is gonna take us way over to the other side of the world. We're talking Costa Cruise Line. I need to grab my laptop because I'm not familiar with all of these ships and places. The word on the street is Costa is canceling the majority of the Costa Fortunas cruises in 2023 and 2024, citing a lack of interest in the cruises and the itineraries offered. So cruise lines will from time to time do this, even if they have guests booked, if their itineraries aren't sailing full or if they're not profitable enough, they will take a ship, cancel everybody, and put it in a market where it will sell out. Now remember, Costa recently pulled the Luminosa out of the exact same market where this cruise ship is sailing. So it begs the question, are we gonna have a third Costa by Carnival cruise ship coming over to the US? I don't know, that's just a rumor at this point, but it's a safe bet that it's a possibility. So if you made it this far into today's episode, make sure you subscribe to the channel with the bell notification turned on if you don't wanna miss the next tidbit of cruise news that comes out here on the channel. As always, thank you so much for stopping by today. And until next time, we'll see ya on the mid ships. Wow, I can't believe it's four days away from the group cruise. This is absolutely amazing. Hey, I've been reading through a lot of the comments here on the channel lately. There's been a huge uptick in people participating, getting on board with replying and letting me know what they think and their thoughts and opinions. Make sure you're still utilizing my Instagram at Midships Cruise and my Facebook at facebook.com forward slash midships to send me any tips, updates, pictures, or videos from new stories that have broken on board a cruise that you know of. Thanks so much as usual for stopping by. I gotta run and pack my bag to get on my flight early in the morning back to Florida. Can't wait to get back to the Sunshine State, but I hear it's only gonna be like 60 or 70 down there, so not all that warm either. Maybe I gotta move down south to Miami. Hmm. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> La 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 la